up, boom. Phil, what's your problem, my brother? Talk to me. Take this walk with me. Take this walk with me. Why do you need two business lines, bro, for internet? Why? It's very unnecessary. It's two people in that household. I don't understand. Someone please make it. Help me understand. Help me. Because I, in my world, I have gigabyte internet. We have one line. We have one internet. And we all, I am streaming. I have, I am recording. I can do the Discord at the same time. And upstairs right now on a phone and the TV, my kid, my son and my girl are both watching. One's watching Netflix. One's watching YouTube. I'm streaming right now live on one line. Why is that not enough? Do I seem like I'm glitching up? Oh, my work won't be able to do. Look at. No, I'm fine. Why? I'm recording too. Discord is running now. Why do you need to? So when then he's talking about how he has two packages. So I figured that that's we're just going to jump off right into because I think it's about like, yeah, 30 minutes. So we're just going to spiral off like this. We're going to watch and we're going to have why Comcast mistreated Phil. OK, we're going to definitely break this all the way down because I'm telling you, gang, I am very much confused on why. Uh oh. I'm very much confused on why this is needed. And and maybe you guys can help me. Don't forget the hay prices, bro. They are rising. <laughs> Yo, the Marco. I read it and I'm like, oh, what's he talking? Oh, yeah, the horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's like a status thing. Yeah, right. He's bragging. He's flexing on us because he's got 33,000 lines. Yeah, that's, that's dope. So we're definitely going to take a look at this right now. DSP mistreated by Comcast goes full blown Karen. Tell you something, brother. Snort. Snort. Shout out Snort Hogan, Snort. the king, Snort. the guy, the goat. Snort. That's Snort. a fact. Let's talk about. What happened mm -hmm. yesterday? Okay, because people are curious what happened. And now that the story is completed, now I can actually tell you the story. Okay? So, why did I have an interruption oh. yesterday? Oh, oh, by the way, I'm sorry. This is just this is one thing that I'll never get either. He knows that people want to know what he's talking about. He does this thing where he alludes to something that's happening but won't tell you for some reason. I'll never understand. Then he then he'll if you ask about it, you get kicked. If you if you pester about it, he'll lose his mind. My thing is, is why bring it up then? Don't bring it up until you can tell the whole story. Just say, I got a uh, sh short stream today. Very simple. You won't give people a reason to answer or ask you. you or, I'm sorry. You give people a reason to ask you all the time. You do this. Compl I, I'll never get it. I will never understand that. But anyway, we are. Let's go. Also, why have I been frustrated about, you know, things recently? Uh, allow me to explain. Yeah, let's hear it. So, as you guys know, I'm a full-time streamer, full-time content creator, and that means that I need to have really, really good internet. If I don't have good internet, unlimited, you know, upload and download and all of that at the good speeds, I would never be able to be a full-time content creator. Not right? true, but keep so, going. So, I have two different internet business lines Stupid. here at my house. Thank you. Uh, who is that man? I appreciate it. Yes, right. we are growing. One Gang is growing. I have literally right here in the office, Stupid. right next to me. And this line is 100% for everything that I do, uploading and downloading on streams, period. That's what it's for. I literally use it for nothing else. Okay? I'm going to so look up my... Um I'm going to look up mine right now because my girl had sent me because I was wondering if we needed when I was getting this computer, I wanted to know if it was the computer or our Internet that was the problem. So she had screenshotted me our Internet and see what we got that is working perfectly fine. No issues. Um, I know she's got it. She had sent it to me. Hold on. Um. Oh, here we go. We have one gig internet. Uh, where's the speeds, though? We need the speeds. We have one gigabyte connection up to 940 slash 880 uh, megabytes per second. That's what we have. 
I, I, I don't speak this line. I don't speak tech language, so I don't know if that's good or not. All I, all right, I know it's decent, it's good, but I don't know if that's like the best you can get or what, how it lowers. All I know is my whole family streams at the same time. I am literally live with y'all every day. They're upstairs watching their shows on different devices. The TV's going. Their phones are going. Her phone's going. We're doing a $90. You have two people in that household. What? Two people in that household. And y'all, your internet can't handle it. You need two lines. A business line. You want to be a business so bad that you'll spend extra money just to say you're a business, I think. There's no way. Um... There's no way. Have- Bro, Duty said all he needs is a business line. That's it. I'm on a Comcast site now. Standard is 100 mega, uh supports up to seven devices. Yeah, I feel like this gigabyte connection plan that I have, it's just better than everything. I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if that's good. All I know is, is it works perfectly for what I needed to do. Stream. Th- Aviga, thank you for the... Th- Three, my brother, congrats on 3K, King. I have three bucks. Hey. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, bang, it, it works bang. fine with me. As the faster speeds. One line. It's got, you know, the higher capacity. It's the more expensive of the two lines. I have a second internet line in my house. This one is downstairs, not upstairs. That one is the wireless yeah, this setting. Is just Basically, stupid, what that bro. one's for. This is just is so dumb. For everything else. My cell phone. Connected to it. My wife's cell phone. Connected to it. Our TV downstairs. Wirelessly connected to it. <laughs> it's a um, buyer's market. consoles and the like that are using wireless are connected to that one downstairs. So that way, this con- this this modem is solely for uploading, downloading, and playing games online. And anything else we do in this house is on the other modem. That way they don't interfere. You'll never have, oh, because my wife turned on the TV downstairs or whatever. Oops, now the internet is affected and stuff like that. Why? Why is that happening? Why is that happening with your internet? Get a different provider then, bro. Because I got Verizon. Okay, I got Verizon. I don't have Comcast. I have Verizon. Mary Sci-Fi, I know. Ain't it crazy? Gang is growing. Okay, we're growing strong. We are, we are, we're, we're like 300 for real. Okay, we're not the, we're not the biggest, but we strong out here. We have, we are undefeated as well. Okay, we have not lost a war yet. That, okay. It's been like that forever. Nine years I've lived. It's okay, X. Thank you for coming through. Lived here in this home. He doesn't need it. All he needed was a Wi-Fi adapter so he can plug it into the wall. I have one in my bedroom for my smart TV for streaming service. I don't know why this dumb as these two lines. Yeah, me either, bro. Because that's the best way to do it. Now, here's no, it's the not. really <laughs> weird thing about this. Definitely not the best. When I moved out here nine years ago, all yeah. right, Talk I was to told me. by my internet company, there is no way that you can have two internet lines on one account. Okay. What? What? Why? And I've never, in the nine years that I've been with this company, had any kind of explanation. No valid explanation. Do you know they're laughing at him? They have to be laughing at them. Like, every time he's calling for a problem about his other line and this line, that line. All right, Shaq, have a good one, Blair. I know you got to work. You be hustling out here, baby. I'll be in the A soon. Couple weeks, dog. We're going to link up. Um, uh, they gotta be laughing like, yo, we get this guy every month. He's paying for something he doesn't really need. This is stupid. And now he's complaining that it's two lines. Like it's a business line. Have two. Explanation was- two accounts is probably going to happen because no one really has a bunch of, I'm thinking it has to be like an office building. I think if you're working in a, in a 20,000 square foot call center, then maybe it's needed to have two. I would say that would probably, yeah, you would need it. Not with you and a one girl. It's not going to clog your internet up, bro. I swear to God. I tr- Trust me. Whatsoever as to why. So I need to have multiple accounts with this company. You don't. In order to do that. Oh, you mean with okay? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it makes I, no I... sense at all. <laughs> at all. And yes, I have to pay two separate internet lines. I can't just have one Stupid. bundled line. It's two separate accounts and all of that. Okay? Stupid. Now, for the time that I've been with this company, the way that they deal with stuff is they do bundles. Three-year bundles of service. What does <laughs> that mean? Uses the internet well, it too. means 
that if you get multiple services, you save money and they sign you into a three-year agreement to lock into a certain price. Once the three-year agreement is up, you have to renegotiate with the company to get the best price. For Renego Renegotiate the price at Comcast. So he's negotiating is what he's saying, okay? He's saying he's negotiating a price. At, oh, you, oh, you mean pick a bundle pack that's different after the, your, your thing runs out? That's what you call renegotiating? Yo, he wants to be a big business so bad, bro. So bad. It's 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 insanity to me how much he wants to be a real business, dog. Dynamite, how do you think of the two? What up, man? How were the woods? The woods was fire, man. The woods was dope. And, you know, I should have brought my camera and recorded a little something. I know we do the reaction thing, but maybe I should record. Maybe when I go out on trips, I'll record like a little video to see what y'all do or see what I do. Maybe when I go to Atlanta in September, I'll do the same thing. I'll record a little something, man, so y'all can see, man. It ain't gonna be nothing crazy, but we'll see. You know what I mean? I gotta go to an event anyway, so maybe I'll film that. Value and also King, thank you, appreciate also it. the services you need, okay? When I first, first moved in here nine years ago, okay? <laughs> Things were a lot different. <laughs> Back then, you couldn't even really get any of these on-demand subscription internet-based TV services. They weren't prominent nine years ago. They were just starting. Um, so at that point, I still had cable just TV, starting. if you can believe it. Yeah, I still had two different cable lines going through my house. Oh my God, dog. I'm telling you, Noah's Ark in the flesh right here when it comes to spending money when you don't need to. Going to I would love to go to Nolens, man. I would love to go. If they got a big event out there, I would definitely go to Nolens. To my bedroom, and one was going. Slaying the Blair Witch Project. I was sitting in the woods, dead dark, watching Saw, though, at night. By the fire, that was dope. Until it started raining, and then it wasn't dope. Going to my living room downstairs, and I had cable boxes. Yes, all that old <laughs> legacy tech. I Negotiating with the pizza guy, right? I had it all, okay? And that was my first agreement that I had with this company for three Legacy years. Tech. I had two internet lines, an actual home phone line, separate from like my cell phones and stuff, but a separate home phone line plus two cable TV lines. So I had a <laughs> lot of service coming into this oh house from God. this company. All right. Dumb, What's man. happened is <clears throat> I've never seen something over so the stupid. last nine years. I have phased out a lot of these services. First of all, the first thing to go the TVs are not needed. The cable TV is so expensive. I'm not kidding. When I got rid of... I don't have cable either. I'm going to be... I, we don't have cable. We just have mad apps that probably equals to what cable would equal to. But, yeah, we don't have cable either. It was... I was paying like 80 to $90 a month for it. What the holy hell do they think they're doing? $90 a month for cable TV? You can get like four different subscription services over the internet for the price of the cable TV. That's... Or you can get gigabyte internet for the $90. Yeah, and you would X out the business plan just like us. Unless Verizon doesn't reach to Washington, is there no... Maybe there's no Verizon in Washington. Maybe maybe I'm tripping because I could have swore when I saw the map, there was red all over the map in the United States. It was red all over. And I swear to God, on the West Coast, they had Verizon. They got to. My sister-in-law's on Verizon. She's in the West Coast. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's insane. Why would I do the cable TV, right? That's just insane. Dak, that's a fact. Cable TV is dead. That's dead. So that's that dead, was the dog. first thing that I cut. I was like, that is a huge waste of money. Oh, it hit different. Trust money, me. Money, and I cut that right out of there. Um, Over the years, I, you know, I tried my best to face things. Because it's here in D.C. Yeah, it's... I'm telling you, I've seen it everywhere. Things in and out. One of the things that was always really silly was the way that this house was set up. Because when I was, oh, when I, nine years ago, when I moved into this house, I was told, oh. Yep, GBIC, we're going to cover it right after this, dog. I got it queued up, and I got the uh, Discord, that the Discord that he doesn't have, right? Well, for you to have all this service in your house, your house isn't equipped for it. So we need to equip, we have to install all this extra equipment to get your house to work with all this equipment. But the thing is, over the years, I've been phasing out all the service. The only, you know, real service I need in this house right now is the two internet lines. That's it, Okay. So why am I telling you all of this? No, well, you don't. because this is my ninth year in this house. And so I was starting up essentially um, a new contract with my internet company. 
So I had to call. Dog, he's talking like he's a free agent signing to a team, bro. You're get. Oh, here we go. Another ugly face for a thumb kneesy. Yep. Let's just get this right here. Oh, my God. That's a fat looking face right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at the jowls jowling right there. Yep. Click. Blonk. Skleet. All right. Let's continue. <laughs> well, I take that back. I could have called, but I decided to do wow, chat. Wow, that was bad. I did the, uh, the online chat where you just go connect with an agent. <laughs> Don't. And basically, this was about, I want to say two weeks ago. I think it was about two weeks ago where it was my day off. And here's the thing, because you guys might say, Phil, why don't you do this kind of stuff on, on your days when you're working? All right? I'm going to tell you exactly why. All right? So it was my day off. And my wife shit is like getting that, ready for like us that, to go out like for the that. day. So I said, all right, I got a little bit of time. She's getting ready. She's putting on her makeup and all of that. It's going to take a while. Let me go into the office and let me try to set up the renewal of all the contracts and all oh. of that. for the Renegotiate. Renewal is a lot different than renegotiate, Phil. I know you want to pretend to be a businessman, my brother, but renegotiate and renewal. Two different words, my brother. Don't smash. Don't keep throwing these words around like we don't know what that means, okay? Because you don't renegotiate. You don't renegotiate a contract when you're renewing one. That means you're renewing. So you're taking the same one that has expired and saying, "Yep, I want to continue this." A renegotiation would mean you've already negotiated a price, not for that set time. And now that time is up, so now you go back and haggle. That's not the same as renewal. Sorry, bro. I, I know you 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 speak to dumb people all day, but they not over here. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> not over here. <laughs> Sorry, player. The next three years, let me do it. So I go into you yes. know the chat. DG, I'm back, baby. And I'm talking with this agent, okay. And every time I do this, it's I get told different <laughs> right, things. Oh, the martyr. service has improved. You can get this better one. You could do this. You could do this. They try to upsell you. Oh, well, you bundle this in with this and this. No, I like my things how they are. I'm going to keep it how they are. But what if you bundle this? No, 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 no. I, I just told you. I don't want that. They try to upsell the shit out of you because they make a lot of money doing that. Okay? If they bundle all their stuff together, they make an insane amount of uh, commission trying to upsell you. It's always money with this dude. Yes, it's yes, 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 Phil. The sales team at your at your internet provider is definitely going to make a commission. Yes, the sales team is going to make a commission when you get bundles. Yep, just like in a car, just like just like anywhere where there's a s s sales team. Yep. <laughs> I saw that, DG. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, don't be afraid, man. I go every year, man. So, I shit you not. Well, Moses, pick up, baby. On my day off two weeks ago, it took me almost two hours. And why, you may ask? Why two hours? On the phone? Really? Well, no, because he wasn't on the phone. Because, you know, oh, boy. Yeah, that's a good one. Whew. Ooh -wee. They're just flying down. The, they're really coming down the pipeline today, ain't they? Good God, <laughs> Because normal people talk on the phone, but this idiot decided to do the chat. Oh, I'm going to type at him because he's so afraid of talking on the phone. You saw it with John Rambo. He couldn't talk on the phone with them. He had a text. Keemstar couldn't talk on the phone. He this face right here. Oh, that better not be though. Oh my god. You know what this is? That's the face from the ring. When when Samara gets you, and this is how they find you. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Two fucking hours in a chat to work with an agent or customer service rep to renegotiate my contract. There he goes again. The word renegotiate. To get into new three-year agreements to sign those agreements and to get everything set up two fucking hours one of the things that really sucks about using the chat the good news is when you use a chat a lot of times you don't have to wait well, if i called on the phone every time i've ever called this company i'm waiting 45 minutes before i speak with a human okay 45 just, minutes it's always eh? been like that 45 minutes eh okay okay all right let's see let's put this to the test oh it's too late it's probably closed Customer service, let's see. See how long it's going to take. Because he said it's going to take how long, he said? 45 minutes? Let's see how long it's going to take me to get in touch with somebody. We're going to do this live, man. We're going to do this live right now.
All up. But if I get in the chat, I can usually talk to them right away. But here's the catch. When you're in a chat, you type them something, they can take 10 minutes to respond. What the fuck are you doing? You going to take a dump? You're picking your ass. You're talking to your friends there in the office. Why aren't you answering me? But they take their sweet time. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's see. We're going to see. Hi. Thank you for calling Xfinity. This call may be monitored or recorded. For more information about our privacy practices, visit us at Xfinity.com slash privacy. Para español, marque nueve. Odisa es para... Uh, Enter or say the zip code where you have or want service. Sorry, I didn't find an account based on your zip code. Let's try this. I'll need a phone number or account number to look you up. New service. Sorry, Comcast service isn't available in that area. Oh, I can't get it. Wah, wah, wah. L for me. L for me. Oh, man. All right, it's all good. I thought I could get in touch you with him. You just got to wait Couldn't for the response, him. right? Arkham edits. Oh, you the bull. Oh, that's not it. Where's the bomb? Oh, you the bull. Yo, are you in the Discord, Arkham? Do you have a Discord? Because I would love to talk to you when we get to that point. I don't know if you talk. If not, we could just do like this. It's not like on the phone. We're like, but you should have came later, man. Pa pause. That sounded crazy. Because I want to chop it up with you, Sam. Oh, are you there? Hello, I'm right here. Why aren't you talking to me? Right? So, yeah, like, I'm not kidding. Two hours. Now, the good news is I renewed both internet lines for three years. One of my internet lines for free is getting an upgrade to be faster. It doesn't even, I mean, it's just standard now that you would have this faster speed. So I get it for nothing. Like, I'm not paying any extra for it. And in fact, after the renegotiations, okay, my actual price on the internet is going down for the first year. Arkham, how you doing, player? Yeah, that sounded wild. Really up Didn't it, Hood? That was sick two, one. And then year three, it goes to buy basically what I'm paying now anyway. So basically, with this renegotiation, a lot of stuff is is decreasing in price. That's great. I'm going to save some money for a couple of years, right? Sounds good. Um, But a couple things. Uh, one of the things is they're going to basically come out and uninstall a lot of the old shit that I don't use. Oh, okay, Arkham. Well, if you're around past this, if you want to come back through, I would love to talk to you when it gets to the time right, man. I would love to talk to anymore. you. That it's just kind of sitting around. Wa old wires, old splitters, all kinds of old equipment and shit needs to be removed from the house. Okay? So, basically what they say is they want to have a tech come out to uninstall Don't you stay still, player. the junk, to check on the equipment, possibly upgrade the existing equipment, if possible, and to run the new software settings or whatever so I get the better speeds. And I was like, so someone really has to come out here to do that? They're like, yes. I'm like, all right, fine. Let's do it. So I wanted to do it as soon as possible, and the soonest I could have got them out here was yesterday, okay? <clears throat> now, keep in mind, this was almost two weeks ago when I scheduled all of this. The earliest day they could get someone come out here was yesterday, all right? So I knew that I was going to have to have an interruption during the stream, and there was nothing I could do about it, all right? And I was assured it wouldn't be a large interruption. Oh, this will take like 20 minutes is what they say. All right, whatever you say. I know that's bullshit, but whatever you say. Why you gotta do? Maybe they know their job. Oh my god, y'all! I'm telling you, man, you can't question him about his job, but he can surely question you about yours, man. I love it, man. I love it. Come back and about, mm, how, what would you say? About like 45 minutes. Come back at like 10 o'clock. No, quarter to 10. Come back quarter to 10. We're gonna get it shaking. Trust me. Okay. So where we left it is renewing my internet contract. I don't know what side of the... Come back in 45 minutes. I should be done in like 45. Tracks, I'm going to actually save money this time. The, the price is going down and then just going to equivalent to what it is now already. So I'm not increasing my price. I'm locking into my service for three years. Graham, what's up, play? Good. Okay? Someone's going to come out here. They're going to... We're going to cover what happened with you. And then I want to ha have a couple questions for you, too. It's all old legacy equipment or whatever. 
um, upgrade equipment to new stuff, and that's that. All right, great. This sounds good to me. All right? So everything's well and good. We're good to go. A week passes. All of a sudden, I get an automated message from the company, a text message. Oh, you now have a second appointment set up for another install the next week. <clears throat> You have two lines. Yeah, that would probably make sense. Yeah, you would have two separate appointments for two separate lines. Yeah. What? No, no, no. You don't got to be in the call. Or we'll do the chat. I'm just saying, come back in like 45. We'll do, you could just chat and you don't got to be in the call. Don't worry about it. What the hell is this? Why do I have automatically have an appointment set up for an install the next week? I never spoke with anyone about this. No one ran it by me. No one made sure that I was available oh that date and time. Why am I getting an automatic appo second appointment? What the hell is this? I don't even know. Now, once again, I knew. I absolutely knew that doing anything with this was going to be a major pain in my ass. So I waited until my day off again this week to deal with it. I knew if I tried to call or talk to someone during a work day, I wouldn't have time to do it. I told you it took two hours for me to sign up for my new internet contracts. So I knew. If Renegotiate. Renewal, re-sign up. <laughs> One of those is not like the other. One of those is not like the other, boy. If I call, it was not going to work during a work day. I got a stream, right? So I waited till my day off. So a few days ago, it's my day off again. And, you know, my wife again is getting ready to go out. All right, I'll deal with it now. She's been okay. getting ready to get out for a while, man. How much makeup she got to put on? Jeez, good boy. So, this time around, I go to do the chat, and it says, no chat agents are available today. Okay. What? Use the phone like a human. No chat agents are available today to chat with Why would you use the chat? I don't like chatting with them because of that reason. Everybody knows, unless, uh, maybe it's just me, that when you use the chat, it takes longer. It's just like a normal thing. I want to get on the phone. This dude needs to like grow up and stop being so afraid of having communication with the person. Like he must like freak out and oh my god, I can't, I can't handle it. Too much, too many words coming at you. Good God, like dog, grow up, grow up and talk on the phone like everyone else has to. I love. I would rather talk on the phone than do the chat. Do the automated stuff. Anytime I could talk to a human, it's way better. We can get this right out the way. I don't care if you're out of the country. I don't care about none of that. I just don't want to use the chat ever in life. I hate when I have to talk to YouTube through the chat. I even hate it even more when it was through an email. This dude, nope, can't talk. With you, you have to call us. What the hell is that? Why? Well, that's stupid. Thank you, SS. They're supposed to be there 24 seven and no chat agents are available. All right. <clears throat> so I have to call. Already it's a huge hassle. Hassle. So I call. And I put my information in. Of course, none of the options in the menu are... Mind you, I just want to just throw this out here so we're all on the same page here. He will spend 40 minutes complaining about cable. Because this is pertinent and very important. But won't tell people about Jasper's emergency appointment to the the vet and how you got to sit there for five hours. He won't tell you how after he told the story about the vet that he went back and fought with the company and found out that they were lying. Well, the, the owner of the build, I don't know what person he was talking to, but he'll tell, he won't tell you any of that because that's, it's not important. But the fact that he had to call Comcast and they, cause he had two lines and it, did an uh, appointment for him. This, this is all very important. This is more important than Jasper's house. I just, let's just keep it on. Let's just keep the facts where they at, you know? Or like talking about, oh, you have a second installation appointment for no reason. You don't know why and you want to talk to someone about it. Of course, there's no man. <laughs> you talk to the CEO, yeah. Menu option for that. Facts. So you're fucking around with the automated menu trying to figure out, put me somewhere to talk to somebody. I'm not kidding. I had to go wait on hold 25 minutes and the phone hung up on me. You probably fat fingered the off button, you know, man. The hoof got in the way. Oh, uh, nah, that's not good. This is pause. I ain't even gonna use this. Is pause. I was not pleased, okay, to say the least. That really pissed me off. So I had to do it again, and then eventually I get to talk to a rep. It probably, I'm not kidding, it probably took me about 45 minutes. 
to finally get a rep on the line. I talk to his, now this is a sales rep. I explain the situation. And the sales rep says, well, yes, I see in the system, you have one appointment for your first date, which was yesterday, but you have another appointment for next week. I said, I never made that appointment. I don't even know what that appointment's for. I need Hello to talk again, to someone up, about this and figure out what is going on. All right, well, we don't deal with that. We're going to have to forward you to the booking department and they'll talk to you about it. All the right. Booking All right, fine, department. Whatever. So they forward me over to this other department. The booking you department. Know, a woman picks up, incredibly heavy accent. So you know this is not in the United States. This is a call center somewhere. Okay. When and you, you know how he feels about people that aren't white and speak English. We know that. Those people. Right? You don't like those people. Who call center somewhere, you know that they have no ability to help you. I'm sorry, that's it's just a not true. That that's just ignorant to say. And I'm sorry, this is the privileged white of him to, to say that, that they can't help you. That's not true. That's not true at all. Most of the people I speak with, though the accents, you know, sometimes a little like I can't understand you. You listen, you yeah, appreciate it. Snow. Shout out to you, bro. You listen, they help you. Uh Amazon. Most of the people that I get are from the Middle East, it's sounding like, okay? I've never had a problem. Uh, the phone, the Verizon, a lot of those people are also uh, the, the people on the customer service, Middle East. That's just an ignorant thing to say. That you, You're the... Nah, I don't want to get too... Bad. Case, we'll just... You get forwarded to a call center. Call centers mean they just sit there, they read a script. And if this, you go off the script, they can't help you. They okay? transfer you to so, someone that can. I'm this is not true. This is ignorant, by the way. This is, what he's saying right now is very ignorant. So don't listen call center. to him. And she says, okay, here's what happened. You have two accounts. So when you initially did that two-hour conversation with the sales rep to renew your contract, he put up the installation appointment for one of your accounts. But you need two installation appointments because you have two accounts. And I said, no, I don't. I'm going to have one appointment where one tech will come out here and do all of the work. I'm not going to do two appointments for you because you don't know how to run your company. I'm going to have one appointment. It's that simple. I'm not wasting time with you. We're going to have one appointment, and it's all going to happen. And, and you know he was talking like that, too. That ignorant, smug attitude. That's what he... I would have banged the phone on him. Ba I would have hung up, too. You started talking to me like that. This woman, her, her brain proceeded to melt through her ears all over her shoulders because she probably had never heard something like that before. <laughs> she had no idea what to do. <clears throat> okay. She couldn't change the appointment. She had no... I said, well, can I talk to your supervisor? Can you forward me to another department? She had no idea what to do. She literally admitted to me on the phone, I have no clue. All I do is read a script. I That's what she's... Son. Yo, sometimes, like, I wish I could just, like, I mean, through the like the the camera, like you know, sometimes he just aggravates me so much, man. Like I sometimes gotta like stop and be like, "Whoa, remember, Sly? You you don't know who this guy. You you can't you can't get to him. You can't. Yeah, it's very detarded, very detarded. He do think he cooking, don't he?" Bro, so you're telling me why are all these people caving to you, bro? The 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 vet. Oh yeah, you're right, hundred percent. We tried to scam you, Phil. Sorry, brother. We did. My company tried to rob you of money, and and now this person says I don't know anything. I read off a script. I've never had any of these calls. I've never ever had a call where the person i've had them when they said i don't know never that they read off a script i don't know what to do at all i said can you help me in any way no <laughs> oh this is you can't like, no there's nothing i can do this is cap, I have no, all i can do cap, cap, is reschedule cap, 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 appointments cap. so if you want to change the dates and times of these appointments i can do that but outside of that i can't help you with only having one appointment like there's no way to do that the system doesn't allow for it. There's no supervisor she has that can interject or help. She has no one to go to. She just sits there and does this all day at a call center and has no power to do anything. Yeah. 
I hope all like, bad oh, things happen to him. All bad things. Okay, so what do we do now? Like nothing and she's good. Like, well, come, I don't know. Nothing good happens. I was like, well, she said, I want. Oh, here's what I want to do. I want to send you back to sales. You want to send me back to the sales department, the department that I took 45 minutes to talk to, and couldn't help me and directed me to you. Okay, so. She tried and said, oh, I can't get sales on the line. I said, no kidding. It took me 45 minutes to get them on the line. What makes you think you think you're going to get them on the line? So literally, she lied to me. She had no idea what she was doing. And she <sighs> lied to me and said, someone nah, will follow liar. up with me. No one followed up with me. Okay? <clears throat> so then what I proceeded to do was... Yeah, Viga, oh, Viga, trust me. I've worked collections because Buffalo is a huge collection place. Like, you can get a collection job walking out the door. And be like, oh, yeah, you want to collect? Yeah, come over here. And they'd just be posted up in, like, bandos, for real, just collecting money. Uh, I've worked in customer, for banks. I've worked customer service for banks, collecting money for banks. Uh, I've worked in healthcare, independent health, Univera Health, customer service for the, both of those companies. Never have I heard someone in there or me say, I'm, I'm just reading off a script. I can't help you. Sorry. No. No. <laughs> Y'all put them on hold and try to find the answer. And if not, you keep transferring up. Only in Phil's world is everybody caving and everybody doesn't know what they're doing. Everybody. I contacted the social media team. I don't know why they think of the king of hate is just because I'm so hateful. I don't know why. I, I, it's just, it's so weird. It's just because I channel it. For my company. And I explained the whole situation. I said, this is the stupidest thing ever. You guys don't know <laughs> how to run your company. They agreed with me. Yo, I can't. Another company has admitted that they don't know how to do their, their, their job. Another company has admitted to it. Holy. They said this makes no sense. One person Holy. should be going out to do all the work. So what they Dude, said they were going to do. Seal. Was notating the account, everything going on. Okay. Yeah, Arkham's here. He's coming back a little later, duty. I know. I saw. I was. I was listening to it. I was gonna watch it, but he said he's gonna come back in like a half hour. So we're gonna go chop it up then. When the tech came out, you know, if they needed to interject, they were gonna oh, try. He's still here. And basically, they were gonna try to figure all this out. Arkham, I got a question. I'm sorry. Since you're here, let me just get this out the way, player. How could you watch this dude and be like, yeah, you know what? He's a good guy. Let me watch him. You don't see the smug attitude. I don't, whatever. But you don't see the smug attitude. You don't see how ignorant he sound. You don't see any of this. None of this clicks. Like when y'all be watching him saying you like him. I'll never understand that. Yeah. Please help me. What did you see in him to be like, yeah, you know, that's a guy I want to follow and help out. What did you see in him? Okay, good for you. Yes, right. what's up, player? Whatever you say. So... Knowing that basically all this meant nothing and I had wasted Lickman, all that time. So again, up, that was man? probably another 90 minutes to two hours again on my day off. Wasted. <laughs> trying to figure all this out. Is anything going to come of it, right? So now fast forward to yesterday. So my first appointment for an install, all right. <laughs> Ghost of Lavania. Oh my God, you killed the game with that one. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. That's Shit like hilarious, that. son. It's supposed to be yesterday between 12 and 2. But I don't know when they're showing up. They could show up at 12. They could show up at 2. Or they could show up any time in between. And you won't know until they're like 5 minutes out. Yeah. yeah. That's how it is. You know when you get cable at a new place. They give you like a big window. And you just have to be there. Yeah it sucks. But that's how it's always been. You know when you get furniture sent to your house. They give you a big window. And then they'll call you when they're close always been like that you know when you're getting any type of appliance delivered to your house they'll give you a big window and you just have to be there yeah it sucks but it's been life why is, would you think this would be any different for cable especially for you why would you think it'd be different holy my god man dude thank you for the five bro stop thank you for the five player argon was honest answer my question seems like a decent dude also did you bang a bear almost close to it we tried couldn't get couldn't nail one down uh couldn't nail one down but we tried trust me so now uh the reason why i watched him is because of my brothers they always watched him and i decided to watch and i was brainwashed but since today i know now i now know the truth 
Holy smokes. She, he even admitted the pig gnosis is a bit in full effect. God, low. Now you know why yesterday I had no idea what to tell you guys was going to happen during the stream. I had no clue. So while we decided to do the Honda <laughs> placement matches. Nah, it definitely wasn't a disaster. It was dope. Ranked. I wish it was longer. I got it. We got to get next Next year, I think we're going for a week. All of a sudden, I get a text. Oh, they're, they're five minutes out. They're going to be here. Oh, great. Right? Why? Oh, great. So, <laughs> brother, why is it oh great now? Oh great, you wanted them there. Now they're telling you they're going to be there. Oh great, now they're coming. Well, yeah, they told you they were coming. So, basically, I hurried through my Honda placement matches. I had to quit, cut the stream short because the guy was at the <laughs> gate. I'm not even So, Mata, you were right, man. I'm kidding, like he was here, all right? So the guy shows up and I let him in. And I explained this. Welcome situation. to the he gang. Goes, hey, Arkham. Welcome to the gang. You can come through. You welcome here, man. I'm like, I'm like where you can come. What are they called? You're like an asylum seeker, okay? And you can come over here. It's fine. We will, we will treat you right over here. You might have to go to war from time to time, but we ain't been in war in a couple months. But it's okay, brother. You're good here. You can seek asylum over in the kingdom, man. This is not the first time I've heard this. This will not be the last time I've heard this. This is incredibly dumb. I agree with you. First of all, you shouldn't need to have two accounts for two internet lines. There's some weird way, some reason why the company does it that way. He says it's always been that way. They don't seem to want to change it. And it's a big hassle because there's multiple businesses who have internet lines more than one. And they need to have like 10 accounts. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense, but that's how they do it. He says, in addition, yes, this whole thing is wrong. Yeah, he did you wrong. That's a fact, Alice. Listen, he did him wrong. I can't. When, when we're done with this, we're going to get right into it. Trust me. I should be here to do all the work. He goes, but guess what? I have a <laughs> job. And cake, man. Assigned to me. My job today is to. And we're patrolled by an officer of the law here. So, you know, shout out, Mary. Upgrade <laughs> one of your internet lines to do a different install, which was news to me. I was like, a different install? What are you talking about? And to remove some equipment. So that's the job he had. He didn't have the job for the other internet line. So he's like, technically, I can't really do anything for the other internet line equipment-wise. That doesn't mean I can't do other stuff while I'm here because I'm here. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. All right? So basically, here's what happened yesterday. Okay? You ready? Here's what happened yesterday. Yeah, someone's got to get banned. That's all well, it ever is, Arkham. Right. Just a bunch of banning and, and snorting and coughing and burping. Okay. I was very friendly, knew Jesus everything about Christ. everything, was incredibly informed, not only on what he was here to do, but on new products and all. We had great conversations that basically in the next few years, I may actually be able to get rid of the two internet lines right now. Holy, your household is split. You have two brothers and one of them is a troll and one of them is a dent. Oh my God, Lord. Yo, the Marco, Marco. That house is in turmoil. Shit like that, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Shit like that. So what happens? What? There's no way that can get played on the TV. God, low. Oh, it probably still wouldn't make sense. <clears throat> but in the next few years, <laughs> I may be able to get rid of one of these two internet lines. Only Very get one slow. that's like the highest capacity, and it should be enough to handle Yo. everything. Plus, apparently... Y'all going through it in that house, man. Yeah, now the troll's over ramp. <laughs> One's a dent, one's a troll. Hopefully they're going to be uh. doing infrastructure upgrades and things. <laughs> and when they do that, I might be good to go forever. Like, I won't have to worry about all this nonsense ever again. Okay? So that was good news. Okay? Now, did he do any hardware upgrades whatsoever? You ready for this one? No. He literally didn't upgrade anything. He didn't have to upgrade my modem in the office. He didn't have to upgrade the modem downstairs. I kept all the same equipment. Okay, yeah, you were just renewing your... You were just renewing your service. Of course, they're not going to pull it out, yank it out of the wall and give you the same thing again, brother. That's why it's called renewal, son. When you renew your service with your... Ah, never mind, man. And he laughs. So why did he have to come out? Well, there was two reasons. Reason number one is because... With this new package that I got, 
I got something new that literally the customer service rep didn't even tell me I was getting. Yeah, that's okay? the Arthur, John. Whenever you, that's the Arthur. You make me want to snuff you. You're lucky there's an officer of the law monitoring, okay? Or you'll get one of the Arthurs. What right? I received is a totally new piece of equipment. It's weird because I don't know if I'm ever going to utilize this, okay? Here's what it is. It is a cell. Oh my God. Yo, Snort, this is my channel. I okay, I'll subscribe, brother. I am. This is my my premium is subscribed to everybody. This one I'm not usually on. Okay? The uh, cotton 4K. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't <laughs> you'll learn back. I'm subscribed to all of them on my other one. When it has the U up here, you'll see subscribed. I don't subscribe to anything on here because I don't really use it. Up device. <laughs> okay <laughs> what does that mean it means that for some reason if my internet goes down all right i have a device that i can plug in my pc into it and instead of using the internet lines like i use you're the first one that pointed it out snort because like most of the people i watch on this one <laughs> never i'm not subscribed to any of them now except uh i think i am subscribed to duty that might be the only one because I, I do see his when i log in but wow. It's a cellular phone internet service device that will connect to the satellites that the cell phone services use and give me temporary internet. Now, is it good internet? No, it's 4G quality internet. It's outdated. So everything you have is just trash. So that's what you're saying. Okay, bet. And in fact, the guy outright admitted to me, he's like, this is not fast enough to do anything you're doing. He's like, you're not gonna be able to be streaming. He's like, if you do it, if you try, it might work. It'll be choppy. He's like, it's not going to be good. This is for basic internet use. If basically your internet goes out, you'll have a means to connect to the internet. It's and very way, interactive what he's been doing right here. It's like this huge thing. It's a, It almost looks like a modem in itself with a giant antenna thing on it. So it's way more powerful than, say, this. Which is, this is what I do. My internet goes out. I try to connect with this to the internet via satellite. And I'll post up on, like, you know, Twitter or my channel page. Hey, guys, the internet's out. I'll let you know when it's back. So this is, like, an over-glorified, way more powerful version of this, basically. All right? She can't even show you all the screen. Like, that. he is that afraid to do this. Like, He's real tuckish and screaming when it comes to this, said, man. You're not, he says, you are not going to be able to do your normal work. It's not going to work. It's not that fast. It's meant as, a, as an emergency backup. Let's say a business had a point of sale system where they check out customers and their internet goes down. This is a temporary way to keep running transactions, basically. But that's it. That's what it's for. And I said, so does this cost me anything? Actually, he's like, no, this is part of your package. So whatever you signed up for, this is what you got. It's your backup. But he goes, literally. He's got two phones, one for the pole and one for the horse. Well, you can never use it. You don't have to. It, it's, it's right over there on the floor, okay? He, he says you can plug it in. It has a battery backup that lasts about 12 hours, so even if your power goes out, it still runs. I didn't know that, Arkham, at all. I had no clue. So you'll still have internet for 12 hours, even if your power Oh, I do know. I have that. Yes, I do. That's up, the, that's up next, too. Power goes out. But he's like, yes, I do. Because he was, he thought he was talking to someone written. It was that, yeah, yeah. yeah. All you, this is, you know, it's all it is. There's no, I was like, so why would I want this? He's like, for you, you don't want it. He's like, a, another business that has, again, sales transactions, that's why they would want it. He's like, you have no reason to have this. So essentially, I got this piece. I, I was never told by the sales rep <laughs> I was getting this. Pets. I didn't even see that in my contract, but I'm I got it. Definitely not Kevin Gates. That dude's a freak and needs to be locked in a cage. It, and so I just have this thing. That I have here, you know, sitting around. <laughs> that I don't know if I'll ever get any use out of at all. He's talking about his Frank, ladies and gentlemen. He's got this thing just sitting here. And he doesn't think it's going to get any use, man. Unless he starts up a stream. Then that's the only time. Isn't that nice, right? So, okay. So he's like, that was the one of the main reasons he showed up. That was actually the primary reason why he was sent to the house, okay? And I was like, so what would have been the other reason? Because everything they told me was that you're doing equipment upgrades. He goes, we're doing no equipment upgrades at all. 
all I'm going to do is restart your, your your modems with new software. We're going to push a software out, a software update out, and you'll get better speeds. But outside of that, everything's the same. And he even admitted, he's like... Why is ears wiggle like that? Like, they just be going rogue on This them. could be done from the office. No one had to come out here to do this. The reason that they had me come out here today was money. He goes, Snort that sales pill. rep made a commission. When he made this appointment today, he made his commission. He says, of course, I get paid for being here. So I'm happy I'm here. Now the reps are coming out there bragging about how... Oh, my God. Talking about their money, dog. The reps coming out are talking about how much money they're getting. That's what he's saying right now. That the rep was telling him that. But he even said to me, he's like, is there something I can do to help you because I'm out here? And I said, well, you know what? You know, I have all this legacy equipment out here, and I would like to see if we can get rid of a lot of it. Did you rock like that, too? I got a lot of legacy equipment out here. Uh, Guy's like, all right, stay still. The tired. So... He basically, what he did is he went through my house and he looked at all the different lines and everything. And he said, whoa, you still have this? And he, we were in the bedroom and I have this little thing. Uh -oh. it's a little He's trying to get that deal, yo. Bang, bang. Little power bang, adapter bang, in my bedroom, bang. plugged into the wall, and it has a cable line coming out of it. Now, I never understood what it was. It was never explained Legacy. to me what it was. Nine years ago when I moved in, I was just told, you must always have this plugged into the wall. If not, all your internet will go out. That's what I was told, okay? So if you haven't noticed, every once in a while, my internet goes out, and I say, oops, it was the power adapter in the bedroom. It got loose, and now that's why the internet went down, so we just plugged it back in, and now it works again, okay? So come to find out, you want to know what that was? An amplifier. What is an amplifier? An amplifier is a device used to strengthen the signal of cable and internet in a home where it doesn't really have the capacity to handle what you're trying to do in Bro, I've never even heard of an amplifier before in my life. Joey Rivera for the 999. It warms my soul to see Urban Style Detractor. Oh, my Lord. Carry on the torch of the OG. Stay in his A. He gets no love. His toxic self needs to be done off. Stay up. He definitely needs to be done off, bro. Thank you for the 999, player. We're now home. So, for example, when I first moved here nine years ago, I had two television cable lines, a home phone, and two internet lines. This Snow house couldn't handle it. So, I needed to have an amplifier in the bedroom <clears throat> that would boost the signal throughout the entire house. And if that amplifier, that amplifier got bedroom, loose, all, eh? everything would go off. So, he's looking at it, he goes, you, all you have left, all you have is two internet lines. And he's looking at it, he's like, you don't need this. So he's like, let me, let me do something for you. And he went outside. He went to the cable. You know, the outside is where all the main lines are, all the boxes. He comes back in. He goes, I'm going to do this. He unhooks the amplifier. He unhooks a ton of couplers. Yeah. We, no, X, we, we, we normally just say TV in America. But, you know, this is a guy that says excited and, and device and Some stuff shit like that. were in the house. I had extra wires out the ass I'm in very this house excited. for no reason. He unhooked a ton of cables, a ton of splitters, all this shit. Dog, uh, it's a Wi-Fi extender, so he had his stuff plugged into a Wi-Fi extender and uh, hasn't been using the other line he's paying for. Yep, typical. He goes outside again. He comes back in. Let's try your internet. We turn it on. The internet is even faster. He goes, yeah. He goes, what's been happening is your Grand internet's been slower Twitter. because you've been running it Grand through this amplifier yes, and everything. Yes. He's like, you don't need this anymore. At one point, you needed it. He's like, all you have is two internet lines. You don't need any of this anymore. So now you're going directly to the outside line. You're not being rerouted through your whole home through this amplifier. You're right out to the lines outside. Your internet will now be better. You won't ever have to worry about hitting that stupid thing, getting it loose and losing your internet. And all these extra wires and shit that could be a potential problem have been removed from your home. And I was like, dude, well, now I'm happy you came out here. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, at first it was going to be a complete waste of my time because you're telling me I didn't need any equipment upgrades to begin with. But now I'm happy you came out here because you did me a solid, basically. You didn't have to do that, oh right? So then he goes, well, what about this other appointment? And I said, well, I th um, I, let's look at it. So we were able to look at it. And basically, the other appointment literally was a phantom appointment. I didn't. A 
phantom appointment, gang. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Have you ever heard of a phantom appointment in your life? Because I can tell you, I have never heard of a phantom appointment. This is like, like I said, this is the first time I'm, I've seen past the 10 minute mark on all brand new to me. This, this, a, a phantom, a phantom appointment. Need a second appointment. He's got text coming out saying how much money I, I, I'm getting racks. He's got the people on the phone saying, sorry, sir. I don't know my job. I just read paper. And now he's getting phantom appointment. And now he's getting phantom appointment set up. I don't know why everyone doesn't believe me. I tell the truth always. For any install. There was no install. He says that modem you have downstairs is a <laughs> phantom appointment. God war. Exactly the same modem they're going to give you for that level of internet. If someone comes out, they will literally come restart the modem and walk out the door. There's no install to be done. It's another phantom appointment where a sales rep is trying to make a commission. So they're trying Money. to force a second appointment on you and you don't need it. How are they making money? That's not how. Okay. Making an appointment. Okay. Every time I had, a, I'm only going to go off of me. Customer, you don't make money on making appointments. You make money on what you sell for the company, not on making an appointment. Unless you have paid for something in with that appointment, some paid for some install, paid for some tech, whatever. Then that's yeah, what you're getting paid for. Not to set an appointment up. You're not getting paid. I've never have seen that, have ever witnessed I have been in sales a lot of times in my life and never have I got paid for setting up an internet or <laughs> setting up an internet, <laughs> setting up appointment. That's what I meant to say. Oh. come what's up? Yeah, we're almost done, doc. And then we're getting right into yours. I was like, what? Pause, pause. Yo, the Marco, Marco. Hey, yo. Wow, that's right into our part. That's filthy, son. It's pretty messed up. So. Basically, he spent over an hour here, but in the hour he was here, he installed a piece of equipment I will never use, this this weird 4G internet device that I'll probably never use. It's too slow to do anything I want to do. But he did upgrade my internet to be faster, and he re basically cleaned the house up with all this excess lines and shit, so now my internet is actually going to be better. Um, You know. Got well, you, Okay, see. great. Dumb, dumb, go, so basically, go, dumb, go, dumb, go. all this happens, right? And now he leaves. I'm like, whoa, let me test everything. So I turn everything on. Everything's great, man. Everything in the house is great, you know? But it's funny because then immediately I get a message from the social media team. And they say, so what happened? Because they don't even know. What happened with your visit? That's and not was, why they're calling. like well the person who came out here was outstanding they went above and beyond they cleaned up a bunch of stuff in my house they didn't need to do so i give that guy top ratings if you send me a survey ask give the guy top he said yeah me about his service i will give him the maximum rating possible all right the maximum top <laughs> i was like what I found out a bunch of stuff. I found out that basically you guys have multiple appointments for no reason you're trying to waste my time to make money I don't appreciate that, and I want this taken care of. And they go, all right, and the next thing I know, is your, your appointment for next week has automatically been canceled. Yeah, because the guy told you it wasn't necessary to have that extra appointment. Yeah, they canceled the appointment they don't need. Yep, makes sense to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, they just canceled it. Yeah, you didn't need it. <laughs> so, I mean, pretty much admitting I never needed it to begin with, that it was just a way for them to make extra money. Right? Oh my Lord. So they just canceled it. And that was it. Like... And after that, nothing. Now, was I ever contacted by anyone in regards to the situation like I was told by that scheduling rep? No. Was I given any kind of, you know, actual... I can't even rate the install guy. I would love to. I can't. There's no way to rate, rate him positively. I got an email today asking about the scheduling. Not about the install guy, but the scheduling process. What do you think I rated that? <laughs> right? <clears throat> of course he had to complain. Duh. Wouldn't be Phil if he wasn't complaining, right? So anyway, um 
That's absolutely ridiculous the way I was handled. I mean, literally Pause. two hours in a chat Pause. to renew my contracts just to be told one thing, not to be explained what I'm actually getting with my contract because I had no idea that that 4G unit was even part of the contract, not even told that. All right. I, I get I get an appointment for an install. I, I, come to find out, you know, I didn't even need an install, right? <laughs> so that was baloney. Then, a week later, I contact them for this second phantom appointment. No one can help me. No one knows anything. I waste another two hours talking on phone lines with these people in a circle. No one can help. The social media team says they're going to do something. They do nothing to help. Literally do nothing at all to help. Thank God the install reps know what they're doing. Because the guy was, was really nice. Probably Shit like that. Shit and the like thing that. is, Shit I don't like think that. I've ever had a problem like with anyone coming out here. And the, the, the moment a physical person arrives at your home... They're informed. Yeah, okay. Was it? We're good? Yeah, I don't know what happened. It was like, there's no way nobody, everyone just stopped talking. They, like, I'm telling you, everybody, like, just stopped. I'm like, there's no way. I'm seeing the chat thing. I even, re well, I thought maybe it was mine that was doing it. But nah, chat was down. Hello, my chat is bugging. Are we good? It's all good? Yeah, okay. There's some people. So I'm like, there's no way. Everyone just, like, was like, all right, peace. <laughs> They're honest, and they help as much as they can. The problem is everything before that. Everything oh, before that is you. a waste of your time. You just, you don't care. Everything automated, or go to a person who's reading a form, or a checklist, or, you know, their, their stupid instructions. No one can freaking help you. Oh, other chats have been doing that? Okay, I'm like, yo, what happened, bro? Because I see the number of the chat rate going up. I'm like, how is it going up if no one's saying a word? <laughs> All right, we back. Okay, we good. No one. And then you say, well, escalate to someone who can. Oh, we don't have the ability to do that. Then the what do you get paid for? Why are you even employed? I restarted my phone. I clicked out of it and restarted, or restored the chat and brought it back over. I'm like, wait, maybe what happened? <laughs> you do nothing. You just sit there, read a script, and you help no one. Why are they? It doesn't make any sense at all, right? Because they so, are helping people. They just, just probably couldn't help you because you throw so many nonsensical words that you don't need into it. And they probably get confused, just like the doc. Everyone, well, at some point, you're going to have to figure out that you're the problem. The delivery people, I always have a problem. I leave them specific instructions. Yeah, a bunch of jumbled up mess that while they're driving, they can't read 30 paragraphs of how to get to your house. Why do you think that's a mess? Everyone you talk to, they transfer you around, bounce you around in different departments, can't help you. At some point, you have to figure look in the mirror and be like, you know what? It might be me that's the problem and how I speak. It baffles me the way these companies are operated today in 2023. So sorry that yesterday we had the interruption. Good news is it wasn't bad. Like that was the least of the problems. It wasn't a big deal at all. And like I said, my house is better now. I have all these extra lines and shit are gone. The amplifier is gone. My internet works fine without it. <clears throat> this is nice. So I was very pleased with the ultimate yeah. resolution. The problem was the hours of wasted time to get there was a is so ridiculous. Okay, so yeah. I Anytime you can't make money, it's a wasted time. Wish this company were better. But the thing is, I don't even have opportunity to give them feedback to tell them what they did wrong. I don't. I, like, how do I tell them? Well, I can't call anywhere. There's no line to call for customer feedback. They sent me a, a, a survey, which was click a number. I'm serious. Click a number of rating. Okay, I clicked it. All right, done. Your survey's done. Well, how the fuck did that help you? So, anyway, that's what happened yesterday. So, I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy. Three years, I'll have better internet. Not really better. It's basically the same speeds. It's better download speeds, which I'll never use. Like, what am I going to use better download speeds, right? Probably never. Uh, upload speed, that's kind of important to me for the, for, obviously, for streaming. And, you know, if we're getting videos to YouTube. But that hasn't really changed. There. Jerry Rivera, thank you for the 499. Everyone agrees with him. He's always right. I wish I could live that life. <laughs> I'm married. I'm only right 10% of the time. If that, this dude never wrong. Oh, yeah. I wish I was right all the time. That'd be great to be right every time you talk. Like, that'd be crazy, right? I don't have... Even when you're wrong, you're right. The top, top of the line package. There is a top, top, top of the line package available, but it's way more expensive than what I'm paying now. And I didn't think that was going to benefit enough from it. If ever I decide to upgrade my equipment where I can like do 4K quality, then I would probably upgrade my my internet. And like I said, what I was told was, give it another year or two, and they're gonna actually start doing major like changes 
to the kind of internet that they're offering. And when they do that, if I go to the new offerings, I may not need the two internet lines anymore. That one internet line might be way better than anything they have now. And therefore I can... Yeah. And uh, for the people that came in uh, uh, later after, I was talking about $200 per stream for the internet. Yeah, the internet art. Just have the one. I have, we read it. Um, one internet line that works for everybody in here right now. I bet you see my girls watching suits, my kids. Well, he's probably asleep now, but he was watching his YouTube show and I'm streaming here and everything is working fine on one internet line. One or one. I have eight, 900 something megabytes, uh, gigabyte internet or whatever. Perfectly fine. 90 bucks. No issues. Everyone's using something. So I have no clue why he needs to. So an account, cancel the other account <clears throat> and only have to deal with one from now on. And that's enough sufficient for my whole house. That'll be great. If those days come, I can't wait for that. Okay. So <clears throat> there you go. All right. So that's what was going on yesterday in a nutshell. All right. I'm sure you all enjoyed that story very, very yeah. much. I would have enjoyed the story of how you had to go to an emergency visit for your cat, but you said that wasn't pertinent to the stream. Or how you uh, spoke to the company that tried to scam you over your cat. Uh, I guess that wasn't pertinent, but 40, almost 40 minutes spent on your Comcast dealing, that that's definitely important. Mm. Chef's kiss, right? <laughs> okay. I got the drip going. I got the drip wow. going. Wow, 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 wow.